Hello, everyone. Howdy. How's it going today out there? How's everyone doing? You enjoying today? Is today good for y'all? Let me mute my other machine over here. And we've got Instagram streaming over there. I feel like my picture's dark today. I don't know why. Um, but hopefully you all are doing well. Thank you for joining us. Let me say hi to who's out here. We have Marianne. Hello, Marianne. Karen is here with us. Hello, Karen. Suzanne, Norma, Cheryl. Thank you for joining us. Susie is there. Michelle has joined in. Harry has joined in. New do. Very nice. Thank you. Yes. Got the haircut today. I told you Tuesday, you're going to see a new me. So, um, got that done and we decided I was getting bored with my other kind of style. This isn't much different, but it's much shorter on the sides um, than normal. Uh, she has a pic very yellow. Yeah, why is her picture so yellow today? That's really weird. Let me wipe off my camera. You're going to go away for a little bit. See if that helps. Maybe the draw the curtains. Yeah, maybe let me draw the curtains here. That's better. For some reason, the outside was making it very, very yellow. Oh, you're backlit. Yeah, getting backlit. Marianne's a slick haircut. Thank you. New hair. Nice, says Suzanne. Thank you. So hopefully you're doing well. Let's see who's out here. We have RSR at home, Julie Walser. Oh, that's um, Rachel Rierich. Rachel Rierich. Rierich. Craft. From Contemporary Craft. Thanks for joining us for a little bit. Um, Julie Walser is out there. Dr. Billing24 is also out there. Thank you for joining us on Instagram. Sorry, I have to duck out of the screen to see who's over here on Instagram. It doesn't feed it in my normal feed. I wish they'd figure that out, but they haven't yet. Um, Sandra's here for a little bit. Hello, Sandra. Hopefully all is going well for everyone out there. Um, we have a new line of products to introduce you to today. It's called Luster by Allegory Gallery. And hopefully you're going to love it. I hope. We hope. Um, so Andrew and I have been working over the past many weeks um, creating a new formula kind of because this is like witchcraft sometimes to me um, different types of enameling different types of um, surface treatments different laser settings and lasering um, and we finally got it if you're on our patreon you would have seen uh, some of the behind the scenes stuff. Yeah, if you're on our Patreon, you already know about some of this. Yeah, old um, hat. Right? Andrew uh, let the cat out of the bag on Patreon. So that's kind of one of the perks of joining Patreon. You get kind of advance notice of things we're doing. Um, we didn't actually give the release date there or anything like that or a link to purchase yet, but you got to see behind the scenes and you already know a little bit about what we're going to show you today. Um, I think we're going to try that, though. We're going to do early release stuff for Patreon people. That would be a good perk for Patreon members. Early release dates. Get in there a little early, a little extra. Um, so, yeah. But we're going to chat for a little bit like we always do. Um, if you don't know us, I'm William. Over there, out of the cameras, Andrew. We have Allegory Gallery. Um, this is, we are a bead art and jewelry store uh, that we created in 2011. And we are in the process of moving the store to Johnstown um, from Ligonier, where we've been at here for the 12 past 12 years or so. 12, 13, how long has it been? Um, and 12 and, some change. 12 and some change in Ligonier and now moving to Johnstown. So while that happens, we're doing a lot of live stuff. Not that we didn't before. We go live pretty much every weekday. And we are, though, mostly relying on online sales. So this new Luster collection is going to go into the online store. And um, it is not there yet. We didn't want to let the cat out of the bag completely. Um, so I will have these items in the online store tonight, later tonight, following this broadcast. But we also have a lot sell for you tonight. Um, while we've been making some of these luster pendants and things, um, 
we've also been playing around with some other types of laser enameling and laser pendants. So we're going to do a lot sale for those tonight. We'll give you lot numbers and you'll be able to purchase these as one-offs. The Luster collection is going to be a full collection where we're gonna make multiples you'll purchase online. Um, and we'll have those shipped out. The lot sale though, we only have one of everything we're showing you. So you are gonna get the actual one we're gonna show you. So we're gonna do that tonight. I didn't even say that on the banner or on the announcement, but there you go. There you go, now you know. Um, I have a kitten, a Barnaby in my lap. He came in, he was allowed in the room today. Um, I don't know how he talked me into that, but he's been a very good boy today. Um, We've been doing a lot. How did everyone deal with the eclipse? Did everyone see it? Was it, was it, were you in a place where you could see it? I know Harry took some really good photos of it. Um, let's see, let's catch up a little bit too here. Norma says, Patreon doesn't give you advance notice if you forget to read it for a couple of days. <laughs> see, we're gonna be doing more and more. Andrew's been really working hard on putting a lot more posts on the Patreon over the last few weeks. Um, there were like four posts that went up, I think just within the last five days or so. Um, so he's been working really hard at that and trying to, well, as we've been working hard at other things. So we've been creating content for that, um, which has enabled him to be able to post more there on the things that we're doing. It's hard to write a compelling post about paperwork. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. People don't always want to just see the paperwork, right? So as we actually work on things, we will be, um, we'll be showing you more. And as Andrew said, we were probably going to give extra perks to Patreon members. Um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, let me find the Patreon banner as Barnaby's pushing my hand away. Barnaby, no. Barnaby, we got to show them where to go. Um, so it's patreon.com slash star cottage studio. And you can sign up, Barnaby, say hi. Mwah. Oh, he's purring so good. He's purring so good, Golden Daddy. Um, so you can join there. You can join for $3 a month. You can join for $8 a month. Or you can join for $12 a month. If you want to give us more money per month, um, let us know and we can make a new tier. But <laughs> you pretty much um, can join for as little as $3 a month. And uh, we're going to start doing advanced notice of sales, probably. Um, maybe advanced, uh, get to get in on the sale a little bit earlier. Um, we're working the kinks out. We're working the kinks out. We might start listing people on our videos since um, the members on our Patreon do support the videos, the free tutorials that we make. They're not free. They're no. not free. Um, Jen gets a kickback from those. She gets paid for those. We invest our time in those. Um, those video tutorials, uh, let's just say they do not make their money back just via the YouTube dollars right now. We make like 60 cents. <laughs> yeah, we make like 60 cents a video if we're lucky. Can't even afford a coffee. Maybe a dollar. Maybe a dollar a video if it's doing real well. Oh. I know, right? Um, Fancy. So the Patreon is one of those things that as people join, it allows us to do these things. If you like these videos, it allows us to maybe pay Jen for a video or allows us to, you know, uh, by weed eaters for Star Cottage Studios. We've gone through a number of those. Um, it helps Star Cottage Studio and it helps what we do there. And filming is one of those things. Creating pendants and the new collection like you're going to see today is another one of those things. Um, as we move on into doing casting work and all different kinds of things, um, that's where we're going to do it. So the Patreon for Star Cottage Studio helps us do the work um, uh, and oftentimes the work is sold at allegory gallery um, but star cottage studio is where the patreon is because that's that's where we do the work and that's where we need the money um, to keep that going yeah we were talking about rebranding it but it's just more it's another thing yeah it's another and thing we don't and... really have that many people right now so it doesn't make sense to to like confuse the people who are already right and star cottage studio we want people to know star cottage studio um that is where we do the work 
that is uh, a building that um, we love and we love being there. And uh, part of our ecosystem. It is a part of the ecosystem, right. And it may become a bigger and bigger part depending on um, if we start offering classes and things there in the future. So there we go. Um, let's see here. Marianne says it's easy to check the Patreon, easy to check Patreon if you use the app. Yes, the app will give you notifications, right? I don't even have the app. I have the app. I just downloaded it today because oh. it kept making me, when I wanted to sign into it, it kept sending the, 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 the six-digit code to Andrew's phone, and then I'd have to be, Andrew, what's the code? Um, and then if he didn't see my message in time, then the code expired, and it's a mess. So I downloaded the app in hopes that the app will keep me signed in more often, and I'll be able to look at it more. Uh, Suzanne says cinnamon is here too. Too cloudy here for the eclipse, says Suzanne. Um, not much of an effect for the eclipse in Edmonton, and I was working, says Marianne. Hello, Carmen. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, Marianne sending hearts to Barnaby. He's such a sweetheart. He was out. I was mowing the grass today, and I let him outside while I mowed the grass. Um, we have an electric mower, and it's not too loud, so he wasn't too scared. Um, he's getting used to it. And um, he just sat around, ate some grass, helped me, helped me mow the grass by eating it. And then um, he's like, I'm doing my part. Doing his part. He was out there while we were, we were getting some pictures of our flowers today and doing a little bit of work in the flower beds. And he was out there. He chased a bunny, though, which he's not supposed to do. But luckily, he didn't chase them too far. He just dashed into the, the neighbor's flowers. Um, and chased it out of the flower bed. So uh, he got a little bit of a yelling at for that. But he was a pretty good boy today. Um, he got out a number of times. Uh, it was a nice sound. It was beautiful today. It still is. You can probably hear the birds singing out there. Um, Sandra says, it was cloudy in Miami, so I enjoyed pics online. I just heard internet traffic drop by 60% during the eclipse. I bet it did. I bet it did. We were not on the internet during the eclipse. We thought about it after, of course. We thought about it afterwards. We could have done a live. But we kind of, we went up um, with Andrew's sister. And Sheila. Sheila. And uh, her husband, Steve. And we were up there. They invited us up. And we couldn't say no to that because they were right near Cleveland. They're just outside of Cleveland. And uh, it was right in totality. It was such a cool thing. There weren't clouds covering, so we got to see it in full. Um, and it was so cool when it finally, like, it's amazing how little bit of a sliver of sun there can be and you still can't look at it at all. And then when it goes totality, you can actually see it. It's so weird. Um, but that little sliver comes out and you're blinded again. Um, it's really a cool thing and we tried to get pictures the best we could, but we didn't have the right, I know that I saw later they sold big covers for your camera lenses. Um, we didn't have those. So we were trying to take pictures through, um, binoculars, which I got a little video through binoculars and through our regular, um, eclipse glasses, but it wouldn't focus right. So that was... That was pretty amazing. Um, the traffic, on the other hand, was not. The traffic was also amazing, but in a different way. <laughs> amazing, terrible. Way. Amazing, terrible way. I had to do a board meeting in the car. Yeah, he had to do the board meeting that he had in the car because... Um, what usually takes uh, two hours from Cleveland to Pittsburgh... Yeah, two, two and a half hours. Took four took and a half four hours. Four and a half hours hours to get back from Cleveland to Pittsburgh. Our trip to Cleveland in the morning wasn't too bad. We uh, did hit traffic uh, in Pennsylvania. Close to the Erie but exit. Once we got to Ohio, it was pretty smooth. Yeah. So we, um, we did that. Uh, Sheila cooked an amazing meal, mm -hmm. vegetable lasagna, and focaccia. focaccia, homemade focaccia bread, and uh, banana, banana pudding. pudding, which I don't even usually like banana pudding. And I never, you know, when people say that I made something, I just say, okay, that's great. 
I loved it. She made it good. So, um, and she gave us some, she gave us a whole container of it to take home. She made us a separate one. Perfect. I know. I had some of it today. And Resin had his some of it today. No, but I'm going to have extra. No. Well, so you're on the line. I took, I'm going to go down. <laughs> I took, I took I'm half of, in my mouth. I took half of my today's portion and I made the point to tell him, this remaining is not all you. Well, just you remind know, that. When, and just remember when, that. When it's in the moment, <laughs> it's hard to, to refuse the goodness. Right. We have Sweet Dimples Jewelry by Julie joined us on Instagram. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. So I made the point because I don't know if you all saw my personal post on Facebook. I asked people what thing they could bring into that, what food they could bring into the house that their significant other or roommate or would not eat. Um, and one of mine is mallow cups. Andrew. You basically get snacks for yourself. Andrew. Does. Usually he gets beets in a can. I have no interest <laughs> in that. Mallow cup. I have no interest in that. What's the other one? It sure isn't peanut M&Ms though. Wow. <laughs> Your fault. That that's my fault for bringing those into the house. See why I bring my own snacks into the house? Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, banana pudding is not allowed to be one of those. Well, we'll, He's a, see. we'll see. Um, let's see here. Michelle says, nothing is free. Everything costs time, supplies, and others. Thank you for uh, giving these videos. Yes, I'm glad you like them. And by the way, did you watch Jen's video this, this weekend? Um, I saw a couple of people did. Yeah, it got up to like fifth place overall. It didn't make the top three, um, but people seemed to enjoy it. It was a very quick one, so you could watch it very quickly. Um, she did it with three different things of three different gauges of wire. Um, it was a um, clover leaf head pin, and she just showed you how to make that real quick. Um, so I think that was really nice. And uh, if you didn't see it, we hope you'll check it out. It's only available on our YouTube channel. Our Saturday morning tutorials are only available there on YouTube. Um, Harry's photos were awesome of the eclipse, says Marianne. Yes, they were. Yes, they were. Um, let's see here. I tried to take a selfie in front of it. It looked terrible. Yeah, we that didn't work out so well. Um, apparently, it made me look like I had no chin. And so it was like a um, job of the hut. <laughs> Andrew did one of these for the photo. Uh-huh. Perfect. And it, it did the nice thing of erasing any kind of line. So it all blended it smoothed together. Smoothed out his chin into one chin and neck. One continuous. What's a cankle but for our neck <laughs> for and your face? Neck and, for your neck and chin. And, uh, uh, neck. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. know. That was less than ideal. Right. So I did not post that picture. <laughs> yeah, that's for our own personal viewing. Um, Cheryl says, I like the email notifications too. Email for like this video or email from Patreon when he posts. I don't know if I post emails. Does it send emails? Um, or did you mean like I did today? Um, Jewelry by Julie on Instagram says, yes, I saw the video. Awesome. Thank you for watching. Um, we we do one of those Saturday morning tutorials. We try and do it every Saturday. It doesn't always work. Julie Castor? Or no, Janet. Sweet Janet. Dimples. Ju Julie. Jewelry by Julie. Which Julie are you? Which Julie are you? Um, Cindy has joined us. Hello, Cindy. Said liked and shared. Thank you so much. Yes, wherever you're watching, please hit that share button. And please follow us on, you know, all the places. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube. It all helps getting those numbers to keep going up, please. Is it Julie Katz or Julie Peterson? Don't know. I'm in Iowa, says Julie. Other other Julie. Other other Julie. New Julie, maybe. Nice, thank you. Um, we like to meet new people and hang out with you. Thank you for watching our things that we do. Uh, Mary says I use the app because I can view videos. No, I haven't figured that out. The so. Patreon videos, yeah, someday. There's a thing because I take videos Julie too. Hof, H A U F E, Hof, Hof. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. I'm probably butchering it. Um, 
Let's see. Cindy Motes is on YouTube and Facebook. Thank you for joining us in both places. Get those get those numbers up. Make it look like everyone views us everywhere, right? <laughs> like that. Norma says, I do have the app and saw the notification, but never remember to go back and look when I had time. I've been busy the last few days. Yeah, it's been a busy okay. weekend, right? Busy weekend. Busy week. We didn't even get here yesterday to do our live on Monday. Um, it feels like a Monday, but it's not, everybody. It's Tuesday. It's trash time. I know. It's already out there. Already took out the trash today. Did the, did the mowing. I had to stop up in Johnstown, looked at how the bookcases were put together up there to tear those down. Um, one day. One day. Um, we announced our official opening, yes. which is May. May, the Memorial Day weekend. We'll be so, opening in Johnstown, so stay tuned if you're in the Johnstown area or want to support us from afar. Or come. Or come on down, as they say on that one show. Who says that? Come on down. You know. Oh, Price is Right. That's right. That's the show. Do they still say that? I believe they do. I believe they do. Like coffee. Hoffy. Oh, Julie Hoffy. Normally, I don't. you don't see the E pronounced. I like that. Hoffy. Okay. I'll try and remember that. It might take me a few times. Lovely spring day. Walked around the lake, says Marianne. It was, it's a lovely day today. It got up to like 70 some degree, 73 it says. Um, <clears throat> Cindy says, we saw part of it here in West Miami um, from glasses that my daughter brought home from my granddaughter's school. No pictures though. Yeah, pictures were hard. Pictures were hard. It was really cloudy here, says Norma. But clear for just a few seconds at 96% totality. Um, so I did get to see it briefly. That's awesome. Diane, our friend from town, is here. Hello. Happy birthday. It's your birthday? Yesterday. Yesterday? I missed did I miss she went that? To Phipps. Oh, nice. I don't know we if I said happy birthday. By. But yeah, we might have passed you in, in in the driving. In the driving time. Well, happy birthday. Hope you enjoyed it. Um Da, da, da. It's hard to get it back if it makes it to Andrew's stomach. I could do like a bird. No, thank you. We don't need bird feedings here. We don't Open need wide. <laughs> Lennis is here. Still need to get a mallow shirt. Um, I don't know if you if your package has been sent out yet, but I've sent you some more um, some more mallow cup uh, points. points. They're on their way, or will be on their way to you. Uh, we don't get them that much. No, I don't get them that much. Unless you have like some kind of secret stash. But I know like Lennis collects them, so whenever I do get them, them um, she gets them from me. Kay is here. Hello, Kay. Which Kay? Dewan. Oh, hi. Um, I'm going to go get the black light. So, oh. Hi, Barnaby. <laughs> Come on. Like, I'm uh, going too. So, a... Bye, Golden Daddy. <laughs> he says, we got this. Yeah, you're gonna take over, huh? You're gonna take over Golden Daddy's spot. No comment. He's busy kissing the desk. He Susan, says, oh, I missed you, desk, my I, desk. I know. He doesn't oh, get to I come in here. You. He doesn't get to come in here very much anymore. No, because the cats have been banned from this room. So I the one know. room we have. Oh, this sounds pathetic. I know. Susie says the Eclipse ones um, Jen made were cool. Yeah, Jen, did you see Jen's um, car accident again? Well, Jen, for one, got into a car accident. No way. No, ma'am. <laughs> Jen got into a car accident on her way to Vermont. Um, somebody ran a stop sign and T-boned their camper. Oh, who came in here now? Hello. The star of my Instagram. The star of Andrew's Instagram, Miss Ida Bell. Did you see the video I posted on Instagram? Right. Andrew Thornton, artist. Check I'm not going to leave it up because it's not art, art related, and but nobody follows my personal <laughs> one. So I posted that. Oh! She's like, not him. So Jen got into an accident. Um, she's okay. She's... Everybody's okay. Uh, a woman, I guess, ran a stop sign and T-boned their camper. Her camper, she had, they had a big camper, like an RV, and then her camper attached onto the back. And there was some damage to both the big one and her little one. 
So, but they're okay. But she also made some beautiful wire work pendants that she charged during the eclipse. So those will be going up on her Etsy site, I believe she said. So if you want to check those out, um, check out her Giggly Gypsy page on Facebook or Instagram and get ready for those if they haven't already gone onto her Etsy page. Um, Michelle says, in my area, we didn't see the eclipse. That's sad, right? Oh, so Patreon, Cheryl says, Patreon sends emails. That's good. That's good to know. Maybe you got to turn on those notifications. I don't know. Uh, Julie over here says, I have a black cat too. Black female cat too. I love her. Yes, we have Ida Bell. Um, we have Gertie. Gertie is a little torty. She's Ida Bell's sister. And then Tallulah is a long-haired gray. Um, and she is also their sister. Possibly from another mister. We don't know. But... Um, I didn't realize this, but I guess cats can get impregnated by more than one, and you can have multiple litters. That's what I've been told. I don't know if that's true. Um, I never knew that. So, uh, but uh, Tallulah looks very different from her other two sisters, from the same exact litter, from the same mama. Um, so that was news to me. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. Anybody know out there? I don't know, but that's what I've heard. But we love them all. And then we have Barnaby and Gilbert, who are brothers, and they're older. Cases, Price is right, and they still do say that. Come on down, right? Suzanne got two ear piercings, a conch, and a forward helix. Nice. Nice. Tattoos and piercings lately. I like it. Hello, Amanda. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Michelle saying happy belated birthday to Diane. Um, Case says, my teen and I are about to go on a walk before it gets dark and the skunks come out. That's a thing, right? I'm starting to smell skunks and um, seeing them more around. So, yes, don't get skunked, please. It's pretty dark out now for us. You can see it's gotten suddenly very dark, um, but it's still pretty nice out there. It's like still 63 degrees. I love this weather. Diane says, it was a good birthday. Good. Suzanne's a sweet video. Um, Andrew's video is pretty funny. Um, it's pretty funny. Um, Cindy says, I saw that. Glad Jen and friends are fine. Yes, they are. Hello, Donna. Thank you for joining in, Donna. We appreciate it. Let me see who else is out here. Um, Kay's still looking for a Maine Coon kitten. Maine Coons are big cats right big cats um but very nice my gram i think my I think my gram's cat was partly Maine Coon that she had and ralphie and he was a super good cat um very strong he could climb tree he was declawed before my gram got him and he could climb trees with just his back and just grabbing onto the tree and pushing himself up um it is true. It's true. Suzanne says, I've heard that too. Um, one of my little black cats just had kittens. I've not seen them yet, but she is skinny again, says Harry. Oh boy, you're going to be, you're going to have kittens to feed now too. Michelle says, I hear it's the same with dogs. See, I never knew that growing up, that at least cats can be impregnated by more than one male and have multiple litter, like multiple family litter <laughs> in the same litter. So weird. Didn't know that. Um, Donna says, I did get to see the partial eclipse in Alabama from my front porch. It was really amazing. Nice. That's awesome. Uh, Kay says, I was walking with the phone light on last night and smelled one, but it stayed hidden. They generally will stay away, but you don't want to stumble across one. Like Andrew almost kicked a baby one one time. Um, it was... It was coming near, I think, the door while he was going out the door. Because they come through our flower beds at night, and I think they eat the bulbs or the little... I think they like those little, you know, things sometimes. Marion says, I still have two and a half hours of daylight. Nice. I have to get a big cat because my dog will chase a smaller one. Dog is 60 and a half pounds. as a high prey drive. Yeah, you got to be careful with that, right? That's a hard mix. 
Although sometimes, sometimes they just get along really well, right? Especially if you get them as kittens. Um, I know a lot of times, uh, even dogs that generally have a hard time with cats and prey, other prey, if you get things as kittens, sometimes they, they get used to it. But don't take the chance if you already know, right? Donna says, had to watch the weather and we had a chance of bad weather, but it's going to be further south of me tomorrow afternoon. Well, that's good. That's good for you, missing the bad weather. Um, Kay says she does like cats, though. That's good. Um, our Larry's litter brother was from another father. He had a retrieve. He got he got a retriever DNA gene, and ours Larry got Great Pyrenees. So weird. Had no idea. Cinnamon is a calico, and Charlie's a tuxedo. Same litter. Yeah, isn't that wild? So wild. I don't know if I realized Char Charlie and Cinnamon were the same litter. I don't know if I knew that. Susan is here. Hello, Susan. Thanks for joining us. Um, da, da, da. Who else? I'm on the western edge of the eastern time zone, and it stays light for almost 40 minutes longer than it does there. Still light here. Nice. It was, I mean, it's it's almost 8 o'clock, and it's just now, like, the sun set. So that's pretty good. We're getting those longer days, which I like. I feel like I get more done when there's more sunshine. Yes, we're more productive, get more things done later into the evening. Oh, my mom joined us on Instagram. Hey, mom, if you're still out there, thanks for joining in. So today we have a number of things to show you. Um, we have a lot sale. We're going to sell things by the lot. And these are some pendants and charms that we've created um, in addition to the luster collection that we've created here. And we have that. Andrew finished his fish. So if you've been waiting to see how the fish comes out, we've got the it. The bead embroidery fish. Yeah, the bead embroidery fish. Well, I won't show it yet. We'll show it soon. Um, but not the big fish. It's almost, it's almost finished. But the little one that used the lacy stiff, stiff stuff. So if any of you want to get that, um, we have our shipment. I think it just arrived today. Mm -hmm. So we'll be getting that into the online store in case you want to purchase any of that. I also got it in black. Oh. So if you want, if you don't want that white to show. The bright white. So you don't want to paint it like how I did it. So we're going to have that. And we'll share the video again and the the products with that video whenever we get that up in the online store. I think I'm going to do some more uh, bead embroidery videos, but smaller, um, smaller videos because um, the one, it, it, even though it's not super big, it kind of took a while. Yeah, um, but it's very detailed. You made this pretty detailed. Um, and so it's got multiple layers and yeah, so I think if I do another tutorial and show how how to add the backing and bind off the edge um, I'll just do a smaller Or maybe we'll film it and I can cut away Yeah, and we'll post it that way because we're gonna do more of those with you, too um, Nobody likes my YouTube video. It's only you've only done one you cannot say two. that <laughs> <laughs> the unboxing does not count. Three then. Three then. Um, Porter Loves joined us over there on Instagram. Thank you. And Julie P0958 joined in again today. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We had a, the old videos. Did we post that there? The ones where I showed how to do resin. I called them fantasy jewels. I don't know. From like back in the day. The before we had, we went live every day. Hmm. I don't know if they're out there or We're not. At the beige store. I don't know if those are on YouTube. I'm so nervous about those. I don't know why. Now I'm like, all I'm right, like, just turn the camera on. <laughs> I look like a like a truck ran over me back and dragged me behind a little bit. But let's, <laughs> let's get let's this go going. On anyway. The show must go on. Dandruff, but all right. The show must go on. Uh, Susan says, Philip Kitten was the only gray tuxedo in a litter of black and white tuxies. Cute. Is it related to Bootsy? Bootsy. 
I thought that was Susan's name for a long time because that's what her name came up as. Yeah. Bootsy. And I was like, that's an unusual name. So, should we get this party started? Let's do it. Let's do it. So, we we're going to. a lot of work to do. Today, today we're going to so. look. Yeah, we do. Um, let's look at this fish first. And then we will take a look at the luster collection, which is what so far a number of people are watching for. So that's coming up very shortly, everybody. And then we're going to do a lot sale with some other laser etched pendants that we've done, um, enamel laser etched pendants and charms. They're going to be I'm going to show some of the things that I'm making for my own stuff. Yeah, we're going to show some of our other things, too. All right, let's right. do it. Let's do it. I'm going to flip the camera around. You're going to see the ceiling. I don't have high AGB fam on the ceiling yet. One of these days, I'm going to print that out, and we're going to post that up there. Do you think we should start with a prize? A prize? Andrew likes to start with giveaways. What do you all think about that? Yeah. What do you all think about that, starting with a giveaway every day? Not this. He already pre-told it. <laughs> Well, that's what we were going to do. You pre -told I pre-told it because that's what we were going to talk about. No, no, no. He says you got to do a giveaway first. Whoop. All right. Prize. Okay. You got a question in mind? Yeah. Okay. So this is the prize. We got another one of these bamboo laser etched allegory gallery pens. And they come with an extra refill. And a shiny box. And a wonderful, shiny, luster-like box. I kind of want to keep those boxes. Aren't they cool? Get that hole puncher out and keep making little <laughs> backgrounds. So there you go. Um, first person to answer this question correctly, wherever you are in the comments, um, that Andrew's going to ask you, it gets this. When's this? All right. Okay, here's the question, everybody. Who's saying Total Eclipse of the Heart? <laughs> who sang originally original. total eclipse of the heart well, the famous version the famous version first person first person I just listened to it today and I forget Cheryl says lol Amy hey Amy says Bonnie Tyler correct Amy wins Amy, Amy, Amy Lowe. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for tuning in. And thank you for winning this prize and playing along. I'm not going to play it because I don't want to get in trouble. But there is this in case you missed it. <laughs> oh. Watch again. <laughs> I was going to make it so that pause while, the, um, while there's the eclipse of the face. Yes. But then that didn't work out. All right, you ready for the fish? Something fishy? Something fishy? All Something right, fishy. everybody. So if you don't know why I made this, besides showing something, the Museum of Beadwork is having their annual fundraiser, and their fundraiser is called Wishes and Fishes, or maybe Fishes and Wishes, one of those combinations of that. Um, and so you make a fish, a beaded fish, and then you send it in, and then they raffle it off, and then they get money for it. So I originally made a ginormous fish, and then I was like, this is taking too long, and I don't know if I want to give it away. You didn't want to give it away is what it came down to, I think. Correct. <laughs> I'll say that. He's like, that's mine. I know. I'll, I'll play with it. I'll hang it up in my studio. Um, anyway, so I was like, well, maybe I need to make something else. So I decided to do a tutorial on how to do bead embroidery. Um, and here you go. So that's the finished piece. Yeah. So if you watched the beginning of that, he started with this, the eye portion, and then he's finished it and finished the back, finished the edging. And that's not real suede, y'all. That's um a synthetic. Synthetic. It looks real though, right? But here, but wait, there's more. But wait, that's not all, folks. Because. Because we got to shut out the lights for this. What? It glows. And I showed how to do that. In the dark. Well, there's three layers of glowing. 
So the background layer, the blue, it, well, maybe that's not it, but there is a layer and then we use this glow worm powder from Smooth On to also glow. <laughs> um, and then I use some uh, glow in the dark seed beads and then I did glow in the dark um, sequins. There you go. Glows. So expect to see Look some. Look at those various levels. There's the blue you can see from the glow worm powder. And then the beads glow. Yeah. Cool, right? Y'all like that? So there is Andrew's fish. I might remake this, of course, because <laughs> I don't like the eye anymore. Oh, my. Um, I'll have some eye capuchons. Cheryl says, ooh, it turned out fab. Susan says, that fishy is so cute. Thanks. Love the fish, Andrew, says Donna. Awesome fish, says Michelle. Uh, Susie says, I like it. Lena says, that's adorable. Karen says, turned out so good. Marion says, cute little fishy. Thanks. Kay says, oh, that's cool. Susan says, cute. Donna says, OMG, a glowy fish. Love, love, love. Thanks. Suzanne says, my cats would love that. I know. I'll Kay says, love it. Uh, yeah, you cannot have that out. That looks like one of their toys. Uh-huh. Yeah. I saw Tallulah. Her eyes got <laughs> round. She eyeing that up. She's She kind of pretended like she didn't see it. And then she also then, and then you know, because she has a thievery problem. Diane says, cute fishy. All right, everybody. Are you ready? Who's ready? Are you ready for the Luster Collection by Allegory Gallery? Which one should we start with, Andrew? Um, I don't know. I don't care. But he's like, I don't care. This is my favorite one, though. So and the this... reason why this is my favorite is because it looks like gold scraffito. Yeah, Golden Daddy likes the gold scraffito. Of course. <laughs> so. This is one of the Luster Collection pendants. Now, don't look at the back. Yeah, this one. This one's a trial. Um, These are the samples, and we did both sides. So we get some of them. This will be the, what the back looks like. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> it's going to be a solid color. Oh, it's going to be solid color. That's right. There'll be Luster on one side, one side only. The other side will most likely be black. Or another color. Of our choosing. <laughs> Probably black. Probably black. So these are, this is one of the lusters. So this is a gold. We're going to come up with names. And I was thinking of if we should name it a food names. So what food is gold? <laughs> I don't know. Saffron? Is, uh, that's usually the saffron's more orangey though, Yellow. right? No, like the spice is orange, kind of orangey red, but when you put it in something, it turns bright gold. Maybe turmeric. Turmeric might be better. I don't know. But that's also orange yeah. until it gets into gets down in corn. Corn. Gold. I like corn. corn. <laughs> it could be maize. Golden corn. <laughs> Golden delicious. That's a corn style. That's actually a corn. I think Golden Delicious. I think that's a, isn't that a corn? It's got the juice, yo. It's got the juice. That's Diane that. just said corn, right? So this is one of the luster pendants. It's not really showing up as good as it could. Amy it's says jackfruit. It's really gold in person. Yes. Let's and... bring that light closer, maybe. I know this is maybe going to blow it out, but it'll allow you to see there's, this is actually mica. And so it's very, very shiny and flashy. And so the drawing is one of my original drawings. I believe art bead scene had a, a lily pad challenge, like, uh, maybe, I don't know how many years. About a lot of years ago. And so then, um, I don't, do y'all remember Art Bead scene? Norma says, it's more gold on my phone than on my TV. 
It is very gold in person. I think the light is washing it out. Is it washing it out too much? Let's try it this way. I don't know. I think that looks better, right? It looks more true to know. gold. I can barely see. Well, there you we'll go. Leave it That's up there. a hard thing about lusters. Yeah. Is photographing them. But so we um, cut out the blanks. We have um, a circle cutter. Yeah, so these are copper cutouts. And then we um, center punch and drill each one, mm -hmm. grind off the burrs, clean it, then put, we experimented on a way of um, doing the base layers so that. Um, yeah, so the black you're seeing behind here is a base layer of enamel. Yeah. I mean, there's a combination. It's a combination of the laser and mm -hmm. the, the, the behind the mica. And so we caught, we experimented with this new way of putting down the base layer because uh, it takes a really long time to do the base layer. So the traditional way, mm -hmm. the traditional way is you do one layer, usually the back, which I don't understand if you have, but anyways, usually it's the back first, and then you put um, you put the um, you fire it, and then you if you're doing it on copper, it gets uh, these oxides and fire fire scale, and so you have to clean all of that off, and then. Uh, then you put another layer and then you fire it again. The problem with that is that sometimes there's a thing called coefficient of expansion and it's glass and metal move. It's always moving. I don't know if y'all knew that or not. It, you know, it doesn't look like it's moving, but it's moving on like whatever level that it's moving on. And so copper and enamel have a very close coefficient, um, of expansion, so that's why they use it primarily for that, because um, some metals do not have uh, the same kind of coefficient of expansion. And so, anyways, it can pull on the metal and make the metal warp. So, in theory, if you do both sides at once, then it will pull from both sides. So it's kind of like a tug of war. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of like if in a tug of war, if one per one side pulls and then another side pulls, it's hard to get back to center. But if you're applying equal pressure from both sides, then it kind of hangs out in the middle, right? This one's pretty nice to see that luster, I think, quality on that. You can see the mica shining. What's that one? The green one? Oh, no, that's silvery blue. Silvery blue. It's kind of a purpley blue. Yeah, it's very strange. In person, it looks a little purple. Like a la lavender. But in on camera, it only photographs as blue. It's like a turquoise color. So isn't that interesting how that works out? Yeah. So it looks blue on camera, and in person, it has some blue qualities to it when it when it, especially when it hits the edge but it's also a purple color. Oh, the other thing that um, the pieces you're going to get are going to be a little bit different because I'm going to do a uh, liver of sulfur and patina the edges. Yeah, so they won't be as bright. So the reason the why edge. you don't, why we clean the edges is that, um, uh, so that copper oxide can sometimes flake off and hit the top of the pendant. And then you have like a little booger, and then that's less than desirable. Yeah. So I don't want that. No. So that's another one of the colors. What and is that? Ube? <laughs> and like, yeah, this is the deep, this is kind of a, this is kind of the deeper purple of the right. two. What's a beautiful aubergine? Aubergine, that'd be a good one. Right? Maize and aubergine. And then you have this, this bluey purple which Sweet Norma potato. says it looks like Periwinkle on her screen. No. That's po deadly poison. No good to eat. And then this beautiful green. Spruce tips. 
spruce tips. <laughs> you can't eat spruce tips, right? At least in the sugar. Maybe collard greens. Look at that one shining. That one looks like it's lustering, right? You know, like mustard greens? I do, but I wouldn't say they look like that. He says, work with me here. Work with me. We might not be able to do foods for these. I don't know. What, what color is that? Anybody? How are y'all liking these? You like them? Hit that thumbs up. If you like them, hit the heart. If you like them, wherever you are. If you're on YouTube, hit the thumbs up. If you're on Facebook, give us a heart. Give us a thumbs up. If you're on Instagram, hit that heart. Do you like these? Hopefully you like these. We worked real hard on them. We've been working for months. Well, weeks at least. Um, on the finalization of it all. Each color is my favorite until I see the next, says Norma. Michelle says this kind of minty green. It's a little darker than mint, right? Mm, mint's probably the closest name I've seen so far. Mint julep. Mint julep. What's this one? Mint. Uh, russet potato. That uh, that's a good the, the red potatoes, right? The russet potato. I don't know if naming it that's going to make people want to buy <laughs> buy the russet color, russet I think potato one of the color. The color is in the mica on Perlex is called russet. Diane says these are really pretty. These are very pretty. Thank you. We appreciate that. They're, they're hard. They are labor intensive. It's it's. I wouldn't say they're labor intensive. There's just a lot of they're step process. intensive, step intensive. Because it's not like we're like breaking a sweat. Like, no, not that kind of labor. But there are a lot of steps to this to get that finished. Marian says red gem potatoes. Uh, what's a noun? Strawberry. It's kind of, kind of a pinky brownish. It's kind of yeah, brown red. A kind Almost of blue, almost chromey. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. And then this one, ruby red grapefruit. This one is a color change. The uh, color is called scarab. Yeah, this is called scarab. But I don't know if we're gonna... know what scarabs aren't that color. So <laughs> I don't know how they got that. This is it changes from almost like a green blue to a red brown red brown um, i don't know if we'll get it to change with the lighting here it's more red brown on a camera when it's held at the side like this like you can there you can kind of see some of it i think susan said all these colors are wonderful thanks thanks we picked a select number of colors to work with if you're on our patreon or if you follow my personal instagram you can see the color chart we made and so that's the first those are the six colors we've chosen in the first design so the lily pad with the dragonflies is going to be one of the main designs for the collection um michelle says they look different when you put them down that's interesting yeah they change color with that luster they change colors so they're never the same like whether they're hanging on you out in sunlight in inside light they're all going to look a little different from time to time i think that's what makes it cool it's like magic yeah it's very cool um and i think it's what makes these they're going to really stand out and these are i think going to be great no matter what kind of jewelry you make if you make, you know, jewelry that you're doing for a fair or for a show, um, or if you go really high end and you're doing only, only gemstones, I think these are going to mix in really well with everything. Um, inch, I think. Cheryl says, missed it, but what are the size? These are one inch. We press them out at one inch. Um, don't know what that is in millimeters for all of you out there who do that. Just about 25 millimeters. 25 millimeters and an inch. Uh, Norma says they're a nice size also. We wanted them to be that size because you could use them as a pendant if you wanted to. Um, or you could use them as earrings. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't recommend using them in anything that's going to get a lot of action because it is enamel. And enamel is pretty sturdy. Yeah. However, it's, it's glass on metal, so right. just keep that in mind. There's a penny. So, um, yeah. 
you, I think they can go with any kind of design, but don't, <laughs> don't, you know, if, if it's going to be like, like jewelry that you wear, I don't know, kickboxing. I don't know that or I would. To the roller derby. To the roller derby, maybe Spin. not. Yeah. But save that for best. But I think no matter what kind of jewelry you make, these could fit in really well. Um, and we tried to pick a variety of nice colors. I know somebody who had some tourmaline. <laughs> right. That would look real good with. That's right. Um, <laughs> Susan said, in other words, no rolling around on the concrete. Correct. Correct. Uh, let's see. Classy Jewels One joined us on Instagram. Thank you for joining us out there. So this is the first design, and we're going to show you the second design we've made. And these are all original drawings. Yes. I don't know if y'all know that, but I have this great big sketchbook that's super heavy, and I draw all of these um, analog, and then. Yeah, these are all drawn by hand by Andrew, and then they're digitized, and, and we work manipulate. magic, manipulate how we and need to. The other thing is, is that nobody else is doing that. This, knock on wood. Yeah. And so, like, we had showed the shell, but I kind of got hesitant to do a line of shell because one of our friends does kind of make some stuff that's similar, and I don't, even though there are our original drawings and stuff mm -hmm. that kind of felt weird so yeah, we started working on some shell pendants and so we showed those before we didn't show we only showed the lily pad so those ones i think i'm going to keep for my own stuff yeah we'll show you a little bit more of those later um but um so i i don't know i'm i'm torn between uh doing that or not so we we'll see <laughs> yeah because i don't i don't know how active they are for one and number two i think that you know it's different enough that there isn't going to be confusion mm -hmm. however i don't want people to be like oh they're copying blah 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 because yeah. this is not this is kind of we came about this in a very different way mm -hmm. So, um, the pendant looks Grecian, says Donna. These are the labyrinths that Andrew created. Yeah, this, so this is an old symbol, however, I drew it out by hand, so it's not like you know, clip art. And these are available in the same six colors, I'll show you all of them. Now, all of these items are going to be in the online store later tonight. So we're giving you the preview. You're getting the preview now. And then you'll be able to grab them tonight if you wish. Now, the ones, though, the later ones that we're going to show, those ones, um, they're not in the Lester collection. They're kind of one-offs. And mm -hmm. so... That's for the lot sale later tonight. Yeah. We're going to do that after we show you these all. In a couple minutes, so it's not like... Yeah, so stay tuned. You yeah. can get one-offs. We may or may not make them again. Yeah, mostly it was to test it and to see how it would work. How the laser etched things and used it with the enamel. And like different surfaces. So we went through and we tested like the different surfaces, different colors, different shapes, different dimensionality is that a real word i think so um so you'll see more of that in a little bit after we show the monster and i love these so they will when you get these um they're going to be black on the back and then they're going to be have the luster on the one side yeah we did them double-sided yeah, because so. these are our tests. Um, and instead of doing, making, you know, using up all that metal to test designs, mm -hmm. we wanted it two-sided so that we didn't waste the metal. Yeah. Um, Susan says, we were at a local church for canvassing training. That church had a labyrinth similar to Andrew's as part of its memorial garden. Yeah, that's a that thing. Mm -hmm. Like, there's a whole bunch of people who walk the labyrinth. That's a real thing. 
I first got familiar with that back in Florida. So when was that? 20 years ago? 20 something years ago? I helped plant a labyrinth garden. And then all the plants got baked in the sun and died. Oh no. Well, that's what happens. It's out in the middle <laughs> of a field in Florida. <laughs> All right, and the final design so far for the Luster Collection is this one. Yeah, I have a lot of drawings, um, but not all drawings work well for this process. Um, some of it, if it's too black, it can burn through the enamel mm -hmm. and uh, well, that's not the end of the world because we can do stuff to salvage it. It is one of those things that, um, you know, you pick the designs that work the best. Like sometimes with the wood, um, a lot of these designs we don't really make very much because with the wood, sometimes what happens is either the lines are too fine and uh, it will, it will it doesn't show engrave. Up the we put a film on top of our um on our wood so it doesn't scorch it um because i don't i didn't want the wood to get all scorched up so there is a film that we put on and sometimes it won't go through the film if the lines are too wide um, if there are too many lines too close together it can burn up the wood and mm. really char the heck out of it um, so either the pendant has to be very large to, to make up for that or, or we not, use it. not used it. And this is the green man. And this was a pretty large pendant when we did it. Yeah. And this one, it, it kind of rides the border. Mm -hmm. Like it still works, but um, I think it looks better. Karen says, love the last design. Marion says, love the green man. Thanks. Favorite. The last design has to be my fave, says Donna. I think it turned out pretty good. And so I'm working on some more designs. I just haven't had time to, to finish them up. And then also we have a lot of designs and I don't not want to use those because some of those we actually did a retirement sale. Mm -hmm. And so we've been going through we some We retired of the wooden pendants. Yeah. And so, and part of that is because they didn't work. Like yeah. they didn't work well on wood, no. but with this process, it holds the detail a little bit better. Um, and so you get, I think it, you get a little bit, it looks nicer with some of them. Mm -hmm. Like with the fine line details, um, we haven't really tried out any of the silhouettes yet. Um, but some of those we had to edit out the silhouettes because the, the, uh, when you cut it, sometimes the little pieces that are left over were too thin, and so they broke easy. Mm -hmm. So in this drawing way, in this etching or the um, engraving way, I think it's nice because you can get really fine lines and you don't have to worry about stuff not being sturdy. Yeah. So what do you all think, everybody? That's the last design in the Luster Collection for now. This is the debut of the Luster Collection. There will be more things coming. Um, this is going to be a um, permanent collection, um, as permanent as permanent is. <laughs> um, it's not to say we may not retire them at some point, but this is going to be a collection we're going to continue making. And we will have these up on the website tonight. And uh, pricing information. Um, they're going to be $28 each. $28 each. Because it's a lot of steps. Yeah. yeah. It took, what, 12 hours for us to get the bases. Just done. the bases without the engraving. And then the <clears throat> engravings take anywhere from 7 to 20 minutes. Yeah. So it just depends. Susan says, fantastic price. We really wanted to, you know, we could have priced these much higher because of all the work and, and a lot of places would. But again, we're always trying to make sure they're affordable or as affordable as possible for everybody. 
You know, there, I did some research on laser edge jewelry and there's a lot of things out there. And some of it is kind of pitched to, um, you know, more like galleries and stuff. Mm -hmm. And in theory, we could do that also. Mm -hmm. But I thought that like, you know, instead of selling like a few at a really high price um, and maybe sell them, maybe not. Right. We could make them more accessible by keeping the price down. And I know that, they, you know, it's not as cheap as some people would probably prefer it, but it is the lowest we can really go. Yeah. Without. We thought it was fair. Yeah. We thought it was a very fair price, $28 each. Like I would buy that. Yeah. And there's a lot of hand. These are not like. These are all hand worked. Yeah, there's a lot. From the stamping of the coin, the one the one inch coin, to enameling them, to putting them in the kiln and bringing them out of the kiln multiple times, okay. to the adding of the mica, um, to lining them up even in the laser. Yes, the laser does the etching, but they're lined up and purposefully done there are uh failures in some of it if the enamel wasn't thick enough for example we have issues so and we had to go through a lot of different and we're justifying price i don't think we even have to i think you understand that's a really good but price also, here's the other thing is copper for some reason copper is going up too and the enamels the prices went up i think 10 I can't remember how many percent, but it, all the enamels went up. So luckily, you know, we're, we bought a lot of our stuff before the prices all went up. Mm -hmm. So here they all are. Do you all like them or do you think they look like dog trash? What do you think of the luster collection, everybody? I worked hard, a little more hard. We worked very hard on these for you. And if these are a success, you know, if we're going to keep coming out with more designs and more colors, more colors possibly in the future as well. But we, I want a true blue. Yeah, we have not been able to get a true blue. This, the one that looks blue on camera doesn't always look blue in person. So we want to get a blue, blue. And we're going to experiment with our background colors too. So that's another thing. Yeah. So what do you think of them? What do you think of the price? How does that strike you? Um, Donna said that's a good, a great price. Donna says love. Norma says love them all. Marion said flustered over luster. That's, that's cute. That's cute. Uh, Susie says love them all. Karen loves them. I mean, oh. bootleg you, Marianne. <laughs> right? Flustered over luster. Susan says the luster collection is a hit, in my opinion. Thanks. Are there any laser engraved designs from our wood collection that you'd like to see? Marianne said so the price is good. Yeah, those of you who know our wood pendant collection, wooden pendants, is there something? I know somebody mentioned we should have a cat. Wow. Well. There's one coming up. Yeah, we have some cats in this one-off um, lot collection. Marianne says you may use it. Thank you. And then, um, yeah, we've got, I've just, like some of them, the shape is not ideal. So like the Bigfoot is kind of a vertically oriented one. Yeah, so Bigfoot was never not. meant to be around. No. And if you like zoom on it in the head, then you're like, where why are you why do you got this like monkey creature? Yeah. This one worked out because it was the face and it had enough detail with the leaves and that you can still tell what it is without the rest of the pendant. Mm -hmm. I actually like a better crop. <laughs> of course. Of course. It is Norma says a dragon. Susan says cats, of course, and roses. We we ready. have a rose in the. Who said that? Susan. Which Susan? Surreal. Oh, are you on the Patreon? <laughs> we have a rose coming up in this uh, lot sale. Just one, just one available. So get ready. Um, Cheryl says the baby dragon. That may be cute. I thought about the baby dragon. Maybe because I've been listening to dragons like crazy. 
Karen says says Karen says tree of life or koi fish would be cool. We that we have one coming up in the sample in the sale. sample sale. But the thing about the one, some of the designs came out faint, so I didn't like it. But you may like it because I William and me we have different ideas. So <laughs> I said pick out your favorites, and he picked them out. And I said what about this one? He's like oh I can see that maybe something like that. And then I said I don't like this one. <laughs> so we just are gonna let y'all decide. Yeah, the sample we're gonna sale. show you most of everything. And if you want it, you want it. And if not, you don't. It's fine. Um, but yeah, and the sample cell is a good word for it because these were samples we made up, and they're not perfect in all cases. Most of them are definitely good enough to use. Um, as either earrings or a pendant. Um, it just depends on your taste. Like Andrew and I do have different tastes on them. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, Norma says, Cheryl and I are on the same wavelength. That baby dragon, huh? Um, Susan says, I should be on the Patreon. Join the Patreon, know. everyone. Join the Patreon. If you're not already there, patreon.com slash starcottagestudio. It's going to be the place where you might get advance notice of things coming up in the future. We're still gonna talk about things here. If you watch the lives, you're still gonna get maybe almost first dibs. Yeah, you, the people who watch the lives are still gonna get more. Yeah, it's just different. <laughs> different things, right? Like I, I can't, I'm more poetic in my writing in my actual self it's not and i want you to know like we're taking these and like they're pretty sturdy like you don't have to worry that it it's going to scratch too much like don't carve into it but they're not gonna it's not a light kind of coating no these are baked in so what it doesn't happens... it doesn't come off on your hands or in your fingers what happens it's mica powder. is so the molten glass when it gets hot it gets sticky and so anything that touches it will stick to the surface of the glass now if it's too big it will pop off because remember a coefficient of expansion mm -hmm. if you have different a different differential <laughs> of um expansion force and <laughs> picking up things now. <laughs> no, if it's no. it basically everything's moving, yeah. just not it has to move together. And so if you have too big of a piece, there's too much of a difference then what happens in the moving. Is it pops off. Yeah. So because they're a powder, they stick to the surface. The, when I do polymer clay, same same way. Mm -hmm. The same thing with... Uh, so this isn't like glitter that's glued on and you're going to feel it and it's going to come off on your clothes no. and come off on everything. This no, is... when they first come out of the kiln, yes. the excess <laughs> gets washed off. Yeah. Anything that's not in direct contact with the molten surface. We had some really pretty sink water. Yeah, we did. It, <laughs> it was, it was like kind of dirty. Super shampoo effect. But it was also shiny. So. Yeah. Yeah. So those anyway. are coming to our online store tonight. Um, I will send out an email tomorrow morning um, with all the information. But if you want to get on this, um, you are all the first to know. These will go up tonight, $28 each only. And um, all six colors will be available. For the first bit, these will be kind of made to order. So um, it may take us a I'm going to, no, I'm going to try to make some some in reserve so that we don't have a big a big but the very first wave yeah i'll um, take we're gonna work on some blanks tonight and then the first wave may take may take an extra day or two to ship all right let's get started with so show, these samples no, oh no 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 show the stuff that that i'm not gonna sell so these ones are. I thought we showed these. We not these. that. But that design can be put into the the Lester collection. If you like that design. If you like the design. That this one's one already. Was, that's. I liked it so much. Um, yeah, it went into the Lester collection. And then I have this face. This, this cute little, little. It looks like Man in the Moon face to me. I thought it was cute. Uh, let's see here. Lenzel Shelley joined us. Patty 
Afa AFA joined us on Instagram. Thank you so much. If you're out there, please say hi. Please say hi. Don't be afraid. We like to chat with people. So if you like these designs, any of these could technically be done in the luster. You get the first say here. This one was already done. But these were on the shell that Andrew started doing and then decided maybe not. We don't maybe, want yeah, well, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll use it for my own stuff. And then these were prototypes. This we're getting working on the sample. Getting the, the laser settings. settings right. We went from here to here and then finally to there. My favorite's in the metal, I think. Andrew likes the metal. I like this one the best. That one takes 30 minutes to etch though, so that, <laughs> no matter what, is out. Yeah, it does take a long time. So, I kind of like the dark one, too, but you don't, you have to be real close to see what it yeah, is. Yeah, far away, you don't see it very much. So, those are some of the things we work on. And then these? Yeah, these ones are also things that I'm thinking about using in my own stuff. Like I was thinking about setting them. These are domed yeah. cabochons. And so the way that I prep the enamel for this is a little bit different. This one has almost a ceramic mixed in. So that's how I got away with only doing one side. Usually you have to do a counter enamel. Yeah. Um, but because the dome was so high and because the, um, the, the mixture has a, um, ceramic in it, it, uh, can hold up. Karen says, Ooh, the bird. Get ready in the sample cell. We have some birds. The only problem with this particular mix is that the, the color didn't come out even which is kind of a bummer because um, with that one, see how there's like some lighter spots and some darker spots, but that did, I think it does turn out pretty good. Yeah, they turned out pretty good. But those are not, cause those ones take a way more time. To <laughs> yeah. So. so that's those. And now let's have the sample cell, everybody. Let's clear these off. Um, this is like any of our lot sales. Let me put up the banner for that. Um, let me find the banner for that to purchase from this video. Take down each lot number, send it to us in an email at info at allegorygallery.com. These are going to be LP lots. So for example, LP1 is going to be $20. All right. So LP1, we're going to start out with this hellebore. Um, some of you may remember the hellebore uh, wooden pendant we used to do. That one was one that got, I believe, discontinued. Yeah, because then the wood, the middle just the middle burns just, out. Yeah, it just burns out. On here, you still get some of that. You, you get some of the detail in there still, which is really great. The wood just got charred and burned out. Um, so this is LP1. If you would like that. That's from our garden. There's from our garden. There's the hellebore. Look, they look similar. I think so. This one's a little bit closer to uh, seed, so it, it's that the pendant is closer to when it's fresh born. Fresh opened, yeah. And then this is later. Vicky, oh, hello, Vicky. Thanks for tuning in. Says good evening. Watching from my hospital bed, a lady ran over me with her scooter and fractured my knee. Oh no! That's terrible. That's terrible. We got accidents this weekend jen was in an accident vicky was in an accident hopefully you heal yeah marion says heal up soon vicky yes hopefully it's not too too bad this is in the dark oh there's the fish in the dark and we got a picture so this is lp1 it's 20 dollars only we're doing these super cheap <laughs> You can get that ready to go. Because apparently I like to make these silly animations that nobody watches. <laughs> People watch. We mean. I don't know. So these, this is the counter enamel on the back that we're talking about, and these have slight AG engravings on the back. But not so it's like in your. It's face. not in your face. Um, so these are, I think, are these the one inch? Yes, these are one inch as well. 
Now these ones, um, I acid etched the surface, so it's nice and kind of semi matte. These are semi matte finished, and um, let me pull up our email just so I can let you all know if any sell. We don't know if any of these are going to sell or not because, like I said, these are sample cells. But if you like them, it's a great chance. They're one of a kinds. Everything we're showing you, there are not going to be multiples or anything. Uh, we may produce some of these in the future, but we're not planning on it right at the moment. Yeah, so. Okay. There's that. I don't know if we have the right size box. I don't think we do. I think you're going to have to use uh, the micro mini. The micro minis. Okay, and let's see here. Donna says, hey, I watched the cat video you did on Instagram. Thank you. All right, LP2. LP2 is this bird. This is kind of the lightest of them. Um, there are some other birds coming up. They're a little bit darker, so it depends if you like the lighter or the darker. And one of them, their eyes is different. Yeah. I didn't like the eye the way it was, so I changed it. So this is LP2. And there's nothing wrong with these. No. So just in case you're like, why is this cheaper than that luster? I don't know. Because <laughs> it's a similar amount of work with the acid etching. Yeah. I just forgot about how much work it is. <laughs> and so I was saying, shouldn't we price these about the same? And he's like, ah... Mostly because they're one-offs and we were trialing things, mm -hmm. so so they're not. It's not going to be a continued collection, so we're giving you a good deal. Yeah, that's the design we may save. I was thinking about editing the wing out on the back because it kind of looks weird. So, I mean, if you know what it is, then it doesn't look weird. If you don't know what it looks, what it is, it looks like a mohawk. Right. So. LP3, this is the same eye, but a darker bird. LP3. Um, LP2 has sold. Thank you. Thank you so much. And if you buy these, that means that we can uh, make more. LP3 has sold. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is the different eye and a darker bird. If you wanted these as a pair, Probably people aren't going to see the eye too much if you have the, if you got LP3. Uh, but <laughs> it was like, eh. <laughs> And so, okay, so here's another reason why the blue, so we have two colors that we have in the sample sale. We have like a, 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 a page kind of paper white and, well, actually three colors. Mm -hmm. We have a white, paper white and kind of an ivory color. And we have this kind of robin's egg blue. Um, the robin's egg blue, you have to adjust the settings so it's higher because if I did the settings that we did on the white, and the white has a different. It's it's not as the, it's not as dense, I guess. I don't know. And the only thing I can think of is that a lot of times in blues and greens, they use copper to make that color. So if it has a higher um, copper content in the enamel, maybe that's why it's a harder enamel and needs a higher setting. Let me change. Sorry, everybody. My screen just went yellow. All right. So that's LP4, $20, still available. And these ones, you have to have the, um, when I took pictures for the Patreon, I had to edit the photos a lot because I had a blue background and it made the pendant look tan. Mm. Isn't that weird? Mm -hmm. It was like that dress. Like what color is that dress? LP5, $20. Now this one turned out really good. If I do say so myself, <laughs> this is the beloved. That's the one Andrew likes. There's one coming up that I prefer. That's the difference between us. You'll see. 
This one looks particularly good. So there you, you go. You got all the detail. LP5, $20. And then LP6, the next one, this is the one I like better. To me, that's cleaner. It's less detailed. But there's LP6. I like that because it looks like an old, like, inked engraving. Mm -hmm. And it, I think it's easier to see from afar what it is than the other one. Yeah, but, sure. That's kind of... <laughs> He's like, that's fine. That's fine. LP5 has sold. Oh, thanks. LP6. This one is still available. Facebook user says, looks like an old lithograph. Yeah. Yes, it does. Lithographs are a pain in the butt to make, by the way. Somebody was asking about a rose. That was Susan. So here is the rose. Marianne preferred LP5 too. LP7, this is the rose. And then that's why, one of the reasons why this one is a sample. <laughs> so it says a different um, properties and symbolisms of a rose. Yeah. But the text didn't come out super great. So it's based off my handwriting, and I should have written it in a darker lettering. Um, because when it gets shrunk down, it's harder to see. Yeah. So, so there it is. But LP, the front looks good. LP7. And you get a little bit of Andrew's handwriting on the back, even if it's not perfect. Mm -hmm. LP7. $20. Um, if you didn't know, we came out with a zine. LP7 is sold. And Thank the you. zine um, had different botanicals that I drew. I did them for Inktober one year. And so... Um, LP8 is this cat. I said it looks like Gertie. It's like Andrew knew Gertie was coming before she came. Mm -hmm. LP8, $20 this for is the a, cat. This is one that I wanted that to work so hard <laughs> on the wood, but it just burnt up the wood and looked like charcoal. Yeah, you get like charred across the back and in the eyes. Because there's so much texture on the original drawing of the fur um, that it just looked charcoal. It was basically charcoal. <laughs> And so that never went into production, I don't mm -mm, think. Nope, we never used it. So that's LP8. Susie says, love the kitty. So there's LP8. So far, still available. Nope, just sold. Thank you so much. And I do like the acid at surface. I am a smitten kitten mm -hmm. with it. Okay. Let me tell you. We're moving now into smaller. Bless. <laughs> Thank you. Smaller charms. And these are about three quarters of an inch, three quarters of an inch. And yeah, they're just about the size of a penny pretty much. So they're $12 and we have this eye in blue. That may live on, um, I may redo the eye. LP9, $12 only. And these are the smaller size, um, which we may or may not produce. It's like the same amount of work. It's yeah. Just... <laughs> it's like, can we really do the same amount of work for less money? Because people think it's smaller, it should be less. I don't know. We'll see. LP9. But these are smaller and they're less, almost by half, even though it's the same amount of work. Yeah. So that I may redo. Because I love a lover's eye. LP10 is an eye in white. There's more ivory. Ivory, yeah. Got Most of these are all yellow in it. All ivory left. So there's LP10. Laser pendant 10. And lp 11 and these ones are ready to go so if you order these that's gonna yeah 
they can ship out quick and um there's no delay on our end no. and these eyes if you're looking for earrings with these smaller size two of these would be a pretty nice set of earrings i try to make them match so that's also the thing is we try to figure out how to do the settings like um <clears throat> sometimes you can put multiple like with the wood you can put multiple things because it cuts the wood yeah, it cuts the shape and cuts the round. So with this, you have to line everything up. So what we found is that you can't do more than one design at a time. So you can't like set it and forget it. No, we can't put like all six in and say, okay, cut this design in all six colors. And we also have to make a special platform for these to sit in so that they wouldn't move. Mm -hmm. and so that they were at the correct height yes. so there's a lot of stuff a lot of behind the scenes stuff you would think with a laser you could just put them all in and it cut but no. the cameras distort um th so the camera scans things so if it has three things it scans over kind of the general area and then it's going to distort when it if it's scanned right in here by the time it gets over here it has distorted that view and it doesn't line up right. It's kind of like, even though they tried really hard not to do this, it's kind of like a fish eye lens mm -hmm. where in the very, very center is correct. And it's a little bit distorted on the peripheral. Yep. So, so this is LP13. This is that little sweet little bird on a smaller house term, sparrow. house sparrow. So I think I'm going to redo this design where I edit the wing off and then replace it with a crown Put a crown up here so it goes with the noble creatures collection so it's lp 13 12 dollars only do you like that idea? so far all the small ones are still available no one like the small ones i guess people like the larger ones they don't like the small ones just throw it in the river then <laughs> lp 14 12 dollars and that one kind of goes with lp 13. Mm -hmm. If you wanted a set if you want to make earrings that's what i was thinking all right the eye design is very unique says Dunbar. Hey, i try to make it like a lover's eye but i may redraw it lp 15 12 dollars we have a number of these little cats coming up so if you're looking for a pair again or if you got that other cat and you want to set. There's a blue one coming up if you want. Mm -hmm. LP 15 and 14 have sold. Well, so thanks. this one is sold. Thank you. LP 16. And we purposely did the layers of enamel thinner. Um, and I kind of like it because it gives it almost like a papery effect. Mm -hmm. You know how like on the edges it's a little bit lighter or it's got a little bit so it's not all just like one color i wanted that to have a little bit of lp16 has sold it looks like Thank a you. tea stain document almost lp17 you can tell andrew really wanted that cat to work i know one of them came too close to that edge that one's coming up and so these are these three 15, 16, and 17 are pretty well centered. So LP 17. Um, LP 18. This is the one, I think, one of the ones that got a little closer to the edge. But still not bad. No, I didn't cut it. And half. LP 17 has sold. LP 18, this one is still available. 15, 16, 17, 14, 15, 16, 17 have all sold. LP 18 is still available. And then we're moving into LP 19. This is one of the blue ones. This is the one we have others. This is the one that got a little bit close, but um, if you're looking for a pair, there won't be one to match this, but if you're looking for a single for a little, maybe a little pendant on a chain or something, that would be nice. LP19. 
twelve dollars only. Yeah, I was kind of disgruntled when I saw that. <laughs> LP twenty. This is one of the blue ones. Um, they can match the larger one. If you're looking for LP twenty, twelve dollars. And then we have another one like that, LP twenty one. So twenty and twenty one would be a nice pair. They look, they look very yeah, they look very similar if you're looking for a looking for a pair. Yeah, we did these one offs because um, instead of doing multiple lots available, because they are all kind of one of a kind. Yeah. LP twenty two is this is the nest from little by little from little by little so, yeah. i think it looks better honestly when it's etched i think it looks way better yeah lp22 12 dollars on the shirt it kind of blacked out a lot of the detail in the nest so I'm kind of torn about this design because I think we should make it, but then I want to zoom in and cut off like all the squiggly lines on the sides. Just zoom in on the nest part. What do y'all think? Do you like them little squiggles or you like it when we're zoomed in? And we have one more of the nests here. Also, it's not perfectly, that one's more centered. Well, no, it's not. <laughs> So that's one of those things that... Um, it's not a design that you can center easily unless you crop it out. Yeah, so I may switch that if, we, if that design goes into production. Marianne says, I like the squiggles. Donna says, I like the squiggles. Might just have to make it bigger. I don't know. What do you do with that? Thimble Fairy joined us on Instagram. Thank you so much. There... Dara DiMagno joined us as well. Um, Lorelai Bedangled. Bedangled joined us too. Is that Lorelai? Do we know? Thank you all for joining us on Instagram. And everywhere else too. Yeah, everyone who's joined us. Um, Lena says, I like the wild branch squiggles. Suzanne says, I like it as is. So 22 and 23 have sold. Thank okay. you so much. All right, we got a few more left. Now these ones, I don't know, because they came out light. They came out light. And um, unless I redraw them, I don't think they'll ever be dark. Yeah. So, or maybe, maybe on multiple, the white. Multiple passes you might have to do or try something. I don't know. I don't know if it would work or not. But this is the koi fish. LP24. These are lighter. Remember when I made these in ceramic? Do y'all remember that? I don't even remember that. Yeah, I made these in ceramic. So originally I etched a plate using this copper and then I made them in ceramic and then did an, a velour underglaze and wiped them off. LP24. So this is an older one. LP24, $12. And next up, LP25 is the bird in flight. Again, lighter style, lighter lines. LP25. And we do have um, another one, LP26, if you wanted to make a pair with that, those birds, you could possibly do that, 25 and 26. I forgot those were ever done in ceramic. Yeah, I did. He says, I didn't forget. LP27 is the bumblebee and honeycomb. 
I think a lot of people forgot that I used to do ceramic. I didn't forget you used to do ceramic, but I forgot those designs were in ceramic. I knew you did a honeycomb in ceramic, but it wasn't with the B. You just did a honeycomb. Mm, that was a dimensional one. Anne says, I have some of those in ceramic. I think that I made them in beat for Anne. bead and button one year. And I used to tumble them in the tumbler so they were matte. Mm -hmm. And the people were like, why would you ever do that? <laughs> and the last one here is LP28. Is still is another one of these bees. Um, I was reading, Lennis says, I still have um, some in ceramic. And this is the last one, LP28 of this evening. $12 for the other bee on the honeycomb. So that's the sample cell for tonight. Thank you for anyone who grabbed any of those. Donna says, I have a ceramic honeycomb that is not glazed that you made. Mm. I don't remember that either. I made some because somebody wanted them for their store that didn't have a glaze. Because mm. they were going to do this aromatherapy class. Oh, that's that makes sense. And so I did that. And then... Um, I had somebody try to help me one time, do, and they just did the honeycomb, and some of them are so thick. Super thick. They're like an Oreo. <laughs> so. And I could not explain it in a way that they could make it. Like, I kept saying, use less clay, press harder, mm -hmm. and it just would not. Yeah, it wasn't working. You know, sometimes. That's that muscle like, memory when you finally get Huh? That's that muscle memory that you get when you figure it out and you have to figure it out. I know, but not, I was like, I was trying so hard mm -hmm. to like communicate and it, it, they got thicker. And so <laughs> I was like, you know, this, I probably have to do this by myself. <laughs> so that was the end of Vanderbeek getting help. <laughs> that, one time. that one time so thank you all so much for joining in we hope you like the little sample cell here at the end but we especially hope you like the new luster collection if you're just tuning in and you missed that rewind be kind rewind and check it out we're going to be putting the luster collection into the online store this evening um, so i'm going to put that in here as soon as i finish up live we'll get those into the online store and they will be available for purchase and of course we'll send out an email and text message and all that good stuff tomorrow to let everyone know that they're in there everyone else yeah since you already know they're going to be 28 dollars each only and we think that's a really really fair price for everything and hopefully you can all use them remember if you do grab any please show us when you use them we want to see them in use out there um, and please post them on social media, hashtag AGB fam, hashtag Allegory Gallery, tag us at Allegory Gallery. We want to see how you use them. You can share them in our Facebook group, Allegory Gallery Design Challenges as well. So thank you all for tuning in. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening, everybody. And we will see you back here tomorrow. Well, Andrew will. I'll be in my pottery class. So have a great night and tune in tomorrow. What? <laughs> Bye, everybody. See ya.